So we have lesson 15 today. We're going to solve lesson 15. And in this case, uh, this is our key. And as always, the lesson starts with um, an example that we go through, we read it. For example, does the equation, and you have it here, have infinitely many solutions? That's the question. So in this case, remember when you solve uh, the equation in both sides, if the left side is the same as the right side, okay, when after you simplify distributive property and then you simplify like terms, then uh, if the left side is the same as the right side, then you have infinitely many solutions. Thus, uh, in this case, the rule that we've been following. Now, in this case, they're telling me, you can see from this expression that both sides of the equations are equal, or you can further simplify to get five equals five. How do you simplify? Okay, let's subtract 3x. We use the opposite of 3x, minus 3x in both sides of the equations. So in this case, you cancel out, so you have 5 equals 5. And then you can see that after you, after you get 5 equals 5, you have infinitely many solutions because the left side is the same as the right side. So now let's answer questions 1 through 8. Okay, so then they said substitute 4 for x in the equation, in the example, and evaluate both sides of the equations. What is the result? So in this case, if we evaluate this one, left side and right side, for example, let me do this one. 3x plus 5 equals to 5 equals to 3x. Remember that this one is the simplified form of all this expression. So we have 3 times 4 plus 5 equals to 5 plus 3 times 4. This is plus, not equal. So in this case, we have that... Um, So we have that 3 times 4 is equals 12, plus 5 equals to 5 plus 12, and 12 plus 5 is 17, equals to 17. So I get exactly the same solution in the left and in the right. Now, so I'm going to have the question, answering the question. Um, 17 equals to 17, and... Yes, it is a true statement. A true statement. Okay, then it says choose any value for x, any value that you want. Choose any value for x and substitute in the equation in the example. Evaluate both sides of the equation. Is the result a true statement? So in this case, let me choose x equals 1. Okay, I'm going. I'm just picking a number. You can choose negative one. You can choose negative two. You can choose zero if you want. I'm going to choose x equals one. So remember, you have three x plus five equals to five plus three x. So I have three times one plus five equals to five plus three times one. And I'm going to put a question mark because we don't know. We are assuming that we don't know. So three times one is three plus five equals to five plus three. And what is 5 plus 3? So we have 8 equals 8, which is a true statement. In this case, you are going to say, yes, it is a true statement. Okay? That's infinitely many solutions. So it doesn't matter the number that you choose. You are always going to have the same solution. Now here, how many solutions does the equation 3x plus 2 equals to 2x plus 14 minus x have? And then you need to explain. Okay, so let me apply these two to properties. So we have 3x plus 2 equals to 2x plus 14 minus x. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 2 is 6 equals. 2x minus x is x plus 14. Okay, as you can see, the x in the left and right are different, and the independent term and the uh, constant value is also different. So that calls for one solution. One solution. Okay? And it says explain. And it says, for example, if you simplify both sides of the equations, gives you 3x plus 6 equals 2x plus 14. So the variable terms... are different 
so there is only one solution which one is that one solution I don't have enough space here so I'm going to subtract x minus x minus x so 3 minus x is 2x plus 6 equals 2 in this case I have 14 then I subtract 6 okay so in this case 14 minus 6 is equals to 8 so 2x is equals to 8 and if we divide by 2 x is equals to 4 and that's our solution x equals 4 Let's move to page 170. In this case, it says solve, use the equations to solve problems 4 to 5. So equation number 1, I have negative 4x minus 5 equals to 4x plus 11. Then I have equation 2 and equation 3. Problem number 4 says, which equation has infinitely many solutions? You need to explain. To know which equation has infinitely many solutions, remember that we need to, number 1, simplify that equation, put together like terms, and number 2, we need to, in this case, observe if the left and the right is the same. So in this case, if I look which equation has infinitely many solutions, not equation 1, because 4x is different to negative 4x, not equation, let me see equation 2. I have 4x plus x. This one is the same as 4x plus x is 5x minus 4 equals to 5x minus 4. So equation number 2, equation number 2 in this case has infinitely many solutions because this equation simplifies as simplifies to 5x minus 4 equals to 5x minus 4 And then, variable term, terms, and constant are the same on each side. So in this case, the equation has... infinitely many solutions. Okay, so that's problem number four. Problem number five, which equation has no solution? So in this case, remember that no solution, we need to look for different left side and different right side. And when I said that one, let's uh, observe, for example, let's look at equation number three. So I have x plus 2x is equals to 3x plus 3 and then this is equals to 3x plus 2 so the x variables has the same coefficient but the y interest in this case the constant term is different this one has no solution how do I know okay let me put it here 3x plus 3 equals to 3x plus 2 if I subtract 3x minus 3x minus 3x then I have 3 equals to 2, which is not true. So that one is a um, no solution. So in this case, problem number 5, I'm going to have equation number 3 has no solution. Uh, one possible explanation is the equation simplifies to three x plus three equals to three x plus two which the variable terms on each side are the same but in this case okay the constant are different. So in this case the equation has no solution. Ok, 
Okay, problem number six. In this case, Chelsea wrote the equation cx plus d equals to 4, 0.5x minus 5. What values can she use for c and d so that the equation has infinitely many solutions? So what we need to do in this case is apply this due to property. So we can say 4 times 0 0.5, which is equals to 2. Okay, let me do this one. Cx plus d equals 4 times 0 0.5, and in this case is equals to 2x minus 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, now if we want infinitely many solutions, the constant uh, the constant have to be equals to the right side and in this case the variable term needs to be equals to the variable term in the right side so in this case I'm going to say that C needs to be equals to 2 and we are going to say that D is have to be equals to negative 20 so that's the solution for problem number six um, we can say in this case to make the variables terms the same we need to apply this due to property first and then uh, observe which values will make the left side equals to the right side and so on. So that will be the solution. Problem number seven it says, suppose that you use three for C and negative 20 for D. Okay, remember I have CX plus D equals to 2X minus 20. And then they are telling me to use um, three for C and negative 20 for D equals to 2X minus 20. What are you going to have? Okay, what are you going to have here in problem six? How many solutions will the equation have? If the variable terms are different, then you're going to get one solution. In this case, it doesn't matter that the um, constants are the same. Still, for example, if I do minus 2x, minus 2x, so I get x minus 20 equals to negative 20, plus 20 plus 20, then x equals to 0. That's one solution. So in this case, I'm going to say one solution. Okay, I have one solution in this case. Um, and I have the explanation here. This is your explanation. So I can say also that the variable terms are different. Okay. Uh, and the solution is x equals 0. So that's one solution. Number 8. So in this case, the equation you have here has no solution. Rico correctly says that he can change one number in the equations to make the equation that has infinitely many solutions. What number should he change? What number should he use instead? Explain. So in this case, let me simplify first. So 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 4x equals to 6 plus x is 7x plus 8. Let me simplify. 3 plus 4 is 7x plus 6 equals to 7x plus 8. Now observe that the constant are different. This one is 6 and this one is 8. And the variables term are the same. So in this case, I'm going to say that he needs to change this 8 and instead of 8, put a 6. So I'm going to do it here. So 7x plus 6 is equals to 7x, and I'm going to say plus 6. So I change that 8 for a 6, and that will make it infinitely many solutions. So for example, I'm going to write here, he should change. the 8 on the right side of the equation to a 6. Okay, this is a 6. In this case, the constant, the term on the left side of the equation is now 6, so you're going to have infinitely many solutions. So we're going to have infinitely many solutions.
Okay, so that will uh, do for the part one of lesson 15. I'll do, um, I'll post the part B um, in a moment. So I hope you have a wonderful day.